boom, haircut. My entire body is just so itchy. A few weeks ago, I started to become a little dissatisfied with the way my hair was looking, but not enough to warrant going to get a full-on haircut. Like, it wasn't that bad. So, it was just one of those instances where you gotta take the uh, kitchen scissors to the sides of your head and hope that you don't cut your ears off. A few weeks ago, on a dark and stormy night, I was driving in this very vehicle home from my good friend Matt's house. I was the only car on the road, so I was relaxed, soaking in the nighttime air, not a care in the world, when suddenly, bang! I had run over a small furry animal. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it wasn't just any small animal, it wasn't a squirrel or a chipmunk, it was a cat. I swear to god, there was no time for reaction, it was like I saw it one second and the next second it was under my car. <laughs> so after I stopped thinking about the family that loved that cat and how I just ruined their like entire year, I checked underneath my car, and this must have been one really fat, dense cat because the underneath of my car looks like this. So here is the car, and as you can see, we definitely have some stuff hanging out underneath. There's this plastic covering stuff that goes up here, and the duct tape didn't really hold. And there's also this wire thing that I don't know what that is, and it's worrying me. If we travel backwards, you can see that the exhaust and gas tank thingy are kind of hanging down onto the ground. And I've heard them scrape on speed bumps and stuff. And it's not nice, it really isn't. Hear that, the sound of plastic scraping against the pavement? Yeah, ooh. I have to leave the poor Molnar mobile here for a few days so that it can get fixed. Goodbye, say goodbye.